today we have a 2006 Ford Explorer 4.0 Eddie Bauer edition. Uh, the customer says that the battery's going dead once a week. Uh, they had the alternator checked and it's not uh, producing the volts it's supposed to. So we're gonna show you where it's located and how to replace it. So this is the uh, Ford 4.0 single red cam. Um, they put a newer battery in it over here um, recently thinking, you know, it kept going down. They didn't know what it was doing. They just figured the battery was old. So they replaced that about six months ago. But uh, what it comes, comes out is it's the alternator which is right here which is easy to get at which is nice um, to charge your battery properly it's supposed to have like 13.8 to 14.2 um, this one's reading like 12.8 so what it's doing it's not properly charging your battery so after a time it goes dead like I said the alternator's right here it's kind of nice it's got a bolt down there one right here one right here and we got to take the belt off but before you do any of that you want to make sure that you have your uh, serpentine belt diagram you can look down there a lot of times it's on the vehicle someplace like up above down below here but this one doesn't have it for whatever reason so either write it out or print one off the internet so you know how the belt's going to go back on when you assemble it before we do anything electrical first thing we do is disconnect our positive put that off to the side get it. Yeah, this right here is your tensioner, of course. Um, you can put a ratchet on the end of it like that. And all you gotta do is push it in, and I'm just gonna do the belt on the top. They actually have a tool for it, but mine doesn't ratchet, so it's just as easy to do it that way. Okay, like I said, the bolt, there's one right here on the bottom. There's one right here, and there's one right here. Normally, I would not take off this air cleaner, but I'm gonna do that just so you get a better visual on it. I'm gonna do like that. Push this down, that unclips. Undo this right here, like that. And unsnap this, these two right here, and my air cleaner will be off. Just like that, it's gonna give me just a little more room to get at this down here, these bolts. I broke them loose, and I got this air cleaner out of here so I can get at this a little better down below. And I'm gonna use my Okay, there's one. Put that right there. And this other one. I'm gonna double check, make sure they're the same size, which they should be, and we'll do the top one. Left thing, only thing left holding it. They all seem to be the same size. Okay, now to get at the electrical part, I'm just gonna move it like that, flip it around, start unplugging stuff. Last thing we gotta do is take this off, just disconnect that. And unplug these other two. And now a new one's probably, or a rebuilt one's probably between 130 to 170 dollars. So I'm gonna take this and have this rebuilt by a guy, you know. Save the people some money. Just reach down in there with a little hook or something, pull it up. See, it's got that little lip down there. Or I can get a screwdriver, see what works best. And I just got a small screwdriver because I wasn't able to pull it up like that. But once you pull it out like that, just pull it up nice and easy. See, it's released. Push it up like that. And now this one's a little tough to get at because it's on the back side, which was a dumb engineering thing. And you can see it from over here. You got to push in like that and pull that out. And just lift it up. But you got to get towards the bottom. Like that. Should pull right out just like that. Okay, so we priced out a new one. It was too expensive for what the customer wanted. So we got a low mileage one uh, from a junkyard. Uh, we're lower miles, so we're going to put this on instead. First thing we do is install that again. Tighten that up. We're using our tent, and we're doing a small ratchet. We're just double checking to make sure it's tight. Put this over it. This has got to slide down, goes over it like that. Just got to plug in the other two. Got to might have to push it a little closer. This one goes, it's got a face out, like that. Just gonna push 
that down in until it clicks. Got to take this one. That's got to go to the inside. Snap that in place like that and put it in position. So once we just kind of put this in position, start the top one. All sizes, or the, all the bolts are the same size, so it doesn't matter where you put them. Slide it around until it starts. To be right there, that's that one. Okay, the last one right here. Pull that out of the way. Okay. You check your diagram. Um, usually the belt's either gonna be way too loose or it's not close to fitting if you're not properly routed on your belts and your pulleys and that. But we're close right there, so I got it in the right area. And I just gotta push it all the way over on the tensioner. Like that, and hopefully get her started. There we go. Slide her off nice and easy. Make sure it doesn't slide over on the bottom there. I was uh, doing the tensioner like that, but it's hard to get it lined up. What you gotta do is make sure this is in between, not sitting on that or otherwise it'll wear your belt prematurely. So you check here, check there, any place that it rides across like that. So this is good. So we're done with this part. So the alternator's in place, everything's plugged in. The three bolts are tight and we got a serpentine belt on. Last thing we're gonna do is put this in place and then hook up the battery. And should be done. Okay, there's that. Plug this in. Make sure it clips down. That's tight. Okay, make sure that we clip down our air box. You don't have to take the air box off, but it is a little easier to get the bottom bolts down there. So it's up to you. And the last thing we do is we hook up our positive. You can hear it making some noise there. Tighten that up. And that's all it takes to replace an alternator on a 2006 Ford Explorer with a 4.0 motor.